All right, we got something hopefully uh, interesting and new here. Gonna do a little motor upgrade on the Emacs 250. Uh, I've been running the 1806s on here. And in fact, I just replaced one. I've only flown it once since replacing it. But I got an email a few weeks ago from an Amazon store called Elect and Small 2 or something along those lines. I'm check the description. It'll be linked down there. And they uh, wanted some help getting the word out about their new YKS line of RC stuff. Um, and what I expressed an interest in was giving a try to their uh, 2204 motors, which look very similar to the Sunny Skies. I wouldn't be surprised if they come out of the same factory, the way things go. But they uh, claim NMB bearings. They look like decent windings. Possibly hand-wound. They're not perfectly distributed on there, but they they look good. Nice open for lots of cooling, but good strong base. A little dab of uh, epoxy wouldn't be a bad idea, just like uh, Soma used to recommend on the Warp Quad with the Sunny Skies, but I've never really bothered, and I've never really torn a motor apart like that. Um, so I'm not going to bother here either. Anyway, I opened this one up so I could get a look at it and see how it is. And it uh, looks pretty good. They came packaged in bubble wrapped ba bags. Well, the whole thing came in a box with plenty of safe packaging from Amazon. And then inside that were the individual bags here for the motors. Um, again, I was sent a set of uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. I not a big fan of that. I really prefer just having one direction of motor and not dealing with the two different threads. It, yeah, the, the nuts can self-tighten that way, but in practice I find I don't like the spinners as much as I like just having nylocks and trying to find a reverse thread. Nylocks is no fun. So, honestly, if it was entirely up to me, I would have just gone with the uh, regular... Uh, regular rotation motors and one set of four, but when you're getting uh, sponsored goods, you can't be too picky, and I'm not going to be picky. I'm getting a nice uh, value for my money here on these motors to upgrade this. So, I'm going to give them a try. We'll see how they go. Uh, I'll record here. I'm probably going to go ahead and pop this into uh, time-lapse mode for the actual swap over because I don't think anybody really wants to sit here and listen to me yammer about whatever comes to my mind while I go ahead and install these. I will say that for the price, I, I would like to see these packaged a little nicer. They're priced about the same as most other 2204 motors on the market, but their uh, the packaging is minimal, just a light cardboard box. Uh, two sets of screws, longer and shorter, and the motor in a plastic baggie. You know, most uh, most 2204s I've had from other manufacturers do tend to come packaged a little nicer uh, in protective foam inside the box instead of just in a baggie. But, hey, I, I'm not going to complain huge about that. I mean, if that's the biggest complaint I have, then their YKS seems to be doing pretty good, but we'll see how they do. I'm going to go ahead and install them here, and I had hoped to have a flight video up by now, but obviously I haven't even got them installed, and we are uh, actually getting rain here in the desert this week, so I don't know how soon I'll have the flight video up, but I'm looking forward to having a flight video of these up as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and uh, install them on here and see how it goes. I'm going to pause the camera, switch it over into time-lapse mode, and we'll uh, record me doing the swap. Okay, time for a little commentary here, because this just got a lot more annoying. <laughs> As a poster on the video where I initially built this uh, frame in time-lapse commented 
he's building one and he wondered how I got my wires so nice and neat and straight that they uh, just came out nice and clean like that. And what I thought was, well, the whole pattern for these is drilled for both the 1806 and the 2204 motors. And I commented that, well, probably you're using 2204 motors and that rotates the motor 90 degrees. This frame was apparently designed with 1806 originally and added 2204 as an afterthought. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I can't mount the motor just like it was before with the wires going straight through. I'm going to have to offset it 90 degrees to get everything to line up, which is make these going to make these wires a little too short to reach right to the ASC wires unless I reroute the ASC wires, which I'm probably going to end up doing. So... This is no longer going to be the quick 10 minute swap I thought it was. It's going to be more like half hour, 45 minutes. But the magic of time lapse means it won't be nearly as boring for you as it will be for me. But let me uh, go ahead and swap us back to time lapse and uh, dig in on this. And we'll get it done. Just so you know, what I was doing while I'm powering it up right now is to make sure I've got my motor rotation right on these. I'm not running BL Heli or anything on here, so I can't easily swap up to uh, change it through software. These are the original Simon series. It is BL Heli, but it's Emax's modified, tweaked up BL Heli. Um, but what I, I realized there when I did that test run up is I might want to give a little comparison just to show how beat up these 1806 motors are at this point. Um, I've been flying on them for over a year now, and I've bashed the heck out of this guy. I've buried it in the sand, bashed it off rocks into the street, you name it. And these motor, it still flies, still flies quite nicely. But these motors have had it. Just listen here. I don't know if that's coming across well on the on there or not, but oh, there's one. That one didn't even want to get going. Oh. Those are horrible. They're, they're just beat. But to Emax's credit, they're still flying and fly well. So, you know, uh, it's going to be a nice upgrade going to nice smooth 2204s. More power and more smoothness. But this one is indeed turning the right way. So I got three more motors to go. We'll get on it. All right, motors are installed and they sound and feel a lot better than the old 1806s. Sounds still a little slow, but that probably just means I gotta recalibrate these ESCs. So I'm looking forward to throwing props on here and I'm running droning. So we're gonna go auto tune this guy once we got props on it. Uh, not tonight. It's dark out, and I don't want to risk auto-tuning this in the dark. But tomorrow I'll try and get an auto-tune run on this, and we will try and get it in the air and flying if we get a break in the rain. So stay tuned. Once we have a break in the rain, we'll get this in, and we'll see just how nice these uh, YKS motors feel in the air. Uh, one little thing here. Halfway through I realized I could wrap these around to keep them a little cleaner. 
I'm not huge on it, but it's one possible option if you're running 2204s on this frame and want a way to make the wires a little cleaner. These were stock length uh, ESC wires and stock length motor wires, and it just barely fits. I gotta hit it with the heat gun real quick, but that's boring to watch. So if you like it and find my videos helpful, as always, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. That's why I make these. If you don't like it, let me know, because then I'll uh, make other stuff instead. So, hope you enjoy it. Hope uh, YKS likes it, and uh, I hope I like the YKS motors, because that's a pretty sweet deal they gave me, and I'm looking forward to flying these and seeing how they do. So stay tuned.